Hey everyone, yes, I'm going live on my personal page. I never go live on my personal page. I usually go live on my fan page because that is where I am building my tribe. That is where my community is for my online marketing business and where I help network marketers. But today I'm going to pop on my personal page because I have something to share. Like I have something heavy on my heart that I want to share with you. So either you could tune in and listen and look at this messy hair, don't care. Holy cow, you guys. Like it's crazy. But like seriously, we're gearing up to take a Burke family trip and just, you know, really just super blessed, right? Like look back on this past year because a year ago is when I started my training company. As most of you know, I was a network marketer. Love network marketing, love it. However, this last year has been a flipping journey. It has been me hitting a lot of walls. It has been me taking a lot of uh, daggers to my back. It has been a lot of people having their own preconceived notions about what I was doing. And you know what? That's all cool. Like, I get it. Um, however, I had to, like, seriously, like, release all that crap. And so I want to come on here today because I know for a fact that there is somebody out there dealing with the shit that I have dealt with, okay? And so I really want to help you guys understand to take ownership of your life because nobody is going to give a crap as much as you, okay? And we sit around all day long thinking, if I make this move, what will people think of me? If I create this, what will people think of me? If I go buy that, you know, thousand dollar bag, what are people going to think of me? If I go buy a new car, what are people going to think of me? Like, it's such bullshit. I cannot even stand it. So here's the thing. A good friend of mine decided that she wanted to leave her current company because she was surrounded by toxic people, toxic people inside her network marketing company. So, you know, she leaves, she makes a move. She's absolutely happy about where she's at. Well, she was building with her cousin who basically um, uh, told her that she ruined her life, um, blocked her from Facebook, like the most ridiculous thing. And here's the thing. Where you put energy is where energy goes, okay? You guys have got to understand that. And so part of what I had to help her with was releasing those feelings, processing those feelings, and then move on as fast as possible. Because here's the thing. People will always have their own agenda. People will always have their own thoughts. People will always hate on you for whatever reason. People will always be down about their lives. People will always be confused about what you're doing and care way too much about what you're doing rather than what they should be doing with their own life, right? And so I sit back and I think like, oh my gosh, like, I have not taken a moment really this past year because those of you that know I've been building my training company, like I have been full-fledged moving in fast-forward mode, okay? But to think about it's not even noon or it is noon here in Chicago, and I've already made four figures today in my day, four figures. And usually I might sit there and say, oh God, like, um, do I deserve that? right? Like I start questioning like, oh my gosh, do we deserve that? Right? Like my husband and I work very hard. Damn right. I deserve it. And so it's once I took ownership of everything I went through this past year, every single heartache, every single time I felt like throwing in the towel, every single time I wanted to hit my head up against the wall, every single time I was, you know, from my upline in my past company, if you don't know, I terminated my position with that company. I left all of those toxic people behind that were literally um, just like, I don't even know how to explain it. It was so fourth grade-ish. Like I cannot even talk about what happened and I won't talk about what happened because it wasn't the company's fault. It was the people that I was aligned with in that company. So guess what? I move on and I am 150% happier. It had nothing to do with my downline. It had nothing to do with the people I was working with personally that came through me. It had to do with the people that were leading us. I did not like the direction that they were leading. So guess what? You might not make a decision. I did not make a decision based on what other people were going to think because obviously some people were upset, but I had to make a decision that was right for me. And guess what? So happy, right? So here's the thing. She's being barraged by her cousin, own family member, horrible, but yet you're going to let her win. Don't let, the, don't let those people win. Why, why? Why would you let those people win? They want you to be stopped in your tracks. They want you to walk that line. Why walk the line? Get off the line. 
Get off the line, get out of the bubble, get out of the box, go out and make your shit happen because I'm going to tell you right now, life is way too short. We've lost some some really close people to us this past year unexpectedly and it really does make you reevaluate your life and where you're going. So no, I am unapologetic. I am unapologetic about the decisions I have made. I am unapologetic about the time that I spent in my business. I am unapologetic about me making four figure days like hello this is everything I've worked for so you know what every single time I make a a sale or an income comes through I thank Jesus I really really do I've lost Jesus in the past he is back in my life thank you and I am seriously blessed we are blessed but being blessed it doesn't happen overnight success does not happen overnight you have to put consistent persistent action in it every single day every single day right there is no easy ticket you guys and so i wanted to pop on here because i just first of all i felt like holy cow i cannot even believe the day i had at just 12 o'clock so super blessed but then i sat and thought about all of the crap that i went through to get to this point in one year in one year and there's so many great things to come like so many great things to come and yes i feel like ripping my hair out sometimes um, trying to balance all of it but you know what it's me and that's okay because I'm being me I do me I don't do anybody else I'm not here to please anybody else I'm here to make an impact and to create an empire of freaking entrepreneurs so they can go out and live the life that they've always dreamed and desired and that they deserve okay so people have a problem with that totally cool you know why because I don't give a you know what all right that's just the way it comes that's just the way the cookie crumbles and so I do care about people people that know me know that I am an open book I am an open book I share my heart I share my soul I give it to you straight I'm not gonna sugarcoat shit because that is not who I am I've never I've even when I was a baby even when I was a baby my dad would say Julie do I look fat in these pants and I'd say mmm I yeah kind of dad <laughs> And they would say, I oh, we always go to Julie when we want the honest to God opinion and answer, right? Some people can't take it. I don't know. Um, but I'm just joking with you guys. But no, I did. Seriously, I did do that. So you know what? Here's the thing. It really got to me. And you guys, I'm like sweating because it's like 90 degrees all of a sudden in Chicago. Um, because when she told me this, it like just... It's, and she said, now I know, now I know exactly what you went through from those people that were doing what they were doing to you. Now I know what that exactly feels like because it's happening to her. See, nobody knows, nobody knows the story. Nobody knows the backstory. Nobody knows what you go through except for you. Again, that's why no one else will give a crap as much as you. So go out and build a life that you love. Be who you want to be don't be anybody else okay so i hope this message i don't even know who the heck is on here because i'm just like i'm like fire today i don't know what it is um but it broke my heart it broke my heart because she obviously loves her family member but her family member obviously has her own demons living in her head that she had to pull out her crap and put it on to my front wrong wrong like it's network marketing this is not heart surgery okay she did not ruin your life she did not ruin your business see that's the thing you are in control of your own destiny you are in control of your own business nobody else nobody else so if you're in network marketing look at yourself stop looking at other people around you to build your team that right there is the biggest no-no you love on your team right you create the energy and the synergy that you need right and you work together you collaborate and you go for it but they will not build your business you build your business if you're in network marketing if you run your own online internet marketing business like I do or coaching business guess who's responsible for my success me that's it that's it am I helping people produce results am I teaching them what they need to be taught am I moving them forward am I getting them unstuck am I you know giving them all the tools and resources that comes from me right so look at whatever thing you're doing and if you're not 
if, if you want to create your own business and you, and you feel like, you know, you're done with your nine to five and, and you're done with, you know, dealing with a horrible boss. Like I was back in, you know, my God, last time I left corporate America, I was 21. I was 22 years old when I bought a franchise. And the reason I was so desperate to buy a franchise was to get the hell away from my boss who literally made me feel this big. You see that? She made me feel that big every single day. I was crying every morning when I walked into that building. And I made a promise to myself 20 years ago. And I said, I will never, ever, like if I look at, if I look at a building now, an office building, like I, I like break out. I swear to God, I will never go back to corporate America. But see, that's me. That's how badly it affected me at such a young age. So I bought a franchise, right? What did I do? I made that work right? Morning, noon, and night. I lived there every single day for the first three years. No joke. You could a ask anybody, right? But after a while, I mean, like, hello, if you own a traditional business, you got to drop me a comment here because like that, I'm just saying praise you, praise you. Cause like when I owned it, whoo, uh-uh, I ran an adult daycare. Okay. So then what did I do? Found network marketing, the most amazing thing in the world. One company, one company only I thought I was gonna be at. Guess what? That did not work out. Boo hoo, right? Like it sucked because I built a huge freaking business there. But guess what? I had the mentality if I did it here, I could do it anywhere, right? And you make it work. You make it work. All right, so listen, I'm gonna leave you at that. My message to you today is be unapologetic about who you are because you deserve everything that this world has to offer okay be blessed all right live life live life with joy purpose freedom whatever it is that you want to do go out and make it happen all right because nobody else will bye for now guys